To construct a parallel line through a given point, one, you need a line and a point not on that line. Obviously, if it's on the line, you're not going to have a parallel line. So, first step, we need to draw another line that goes through that point and also through this line. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you create a line. You can create the line straight up and down, you can slant it, as long as they intersect both of them. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this angle right up here so that this line and another line that I create, that bottom part of the angle, match up. So, first step, go ahead and create an arc using where my original line and the line through my point go ahead and cross. So, brass ring right there. Go ahead and create an arc. Right here like that. Remember which hole you used. Now go up to the point that we started with that was off of our line. Use that same hole. For me, first hole right here by the nice bold arrow. Again, same hole. Make an arc. So, all that we've done so far is we've made two arcs where this point up here and this point down here were the two point or the two vertices basically of my angles. Now, the other part that we have to come up with is to figure out how big this angle is so that I can recreate it up here. Well, I have a crisscross here, I have a crisscross here, so I can use those. Use your safety compass, come up here right here where it crosses. Now come down here and figure out where it hits this line so that we can come up here and recreate it right here like that. Alright, there's where it crosses. Oh, right there. So, looks like that arrow right there. I'm going to come up here, do the same thing. And I've created two tiny little arcs here that copy that angle. You guys think back to your copy angle construction. That's all that we've done. Now that we have a crisscross here and our original dot, go ahead and connect the lines. Make sure that you do it correctly. And this line here is going to be parallel to our original line down here. Pretty nifty.